Next in lab 9C, implement Azure Kubernetes service. So in this uh, first task, we will uh, register the Kubernetes and uh, Kubernetes configuration resource provider. Let's log into the Azure portal and open the cloud shell. So if you have uh, no storage account mounted, then you have to create the storage account. I have already one done in this lab. So I'm going to run the following command to register Microsoft Kubernetes and uh, the Kubernetes configuration resource provider. Provider namespace. Register AC resource provider. Provider namespace. Okay, so we have registered the resource provider for Kubernetes and the Kubernetes configuration. So in task two, we'll deploy an Azure Kubernetes cluster. Close the cloud shell. Search for Kubernetes services. And um, create a Kubernetes cluster. Select the subscription and uh, create the new resource group. Click OK. Kubernetes cluster name. Azure Kubernetes service AKS1. The region default availability zone. Um, I don't need any availability zone, so let's make it to none. And Kubernetes version. I'll just accept the default value. And accept the uh, default value for node size, node count, node count range. Click next, node pools. So enable virtual nodes. Let it be disabled. And enable virtual machine scale set. Let it be enabled by default. And next click authentication so authentication method <clears throat> system assigned manage identity by default and or back enable click next for networking and the network configuration kubenet dns name prefix So I'm going to do this. Click next integrations. So I'm just going to disable the um, container monitoring. So in production scenario, we may want to enable it. Since it is not covered, I'm just uh, disabling it. And click Review, Create. So 
So let's wait for the deployment to be complete. Click on create. So this should take about 10 minutes. So in the next task, we'll see deploy pods into the Azure Kubernetes service cluster.